Hey guys, so this is pretty easy crap, but you will take a little help from mom and dad. So what you gotta do is get yourself four pieces of paper. Mine are kind of a tannish brown, but you can really use any color. Um, I like a lighter color, because then you can see what you're drawing on it. We are making seasons so that you can talk about the plants that are gonna be in today's lesson. So all you do is take your hand and your arm and you lay them down on top of the paper here and then somebody else is going to trace your hand. Okay, so now you see I traced my whole arm here. It's called a forearm, and I traced all my fingers. And like I said, I had to have a helper because it's really hard to do by yourself. But now I have four different pieces of paper with parts of my hand and arm on them, okay? What we're gonna do is turn one of these each into a season. So for today, if you just want to pick one season to work on, you can always come back later and work on the other ones. So don't feel like you have to rush. It's totally fine to take a couple days even to finish this kind of craft because there's a lot going on here. If you wanted to make something that was more permanent, you can also do the same thing using um, if your parents had four pieces of canvas. But I'm just doing mine on construction paper, and that's good enough. But if you want something more permanent, you can always get canvases. Okay, now that I've got my part of the hand I'm working on, I'm gonna paint the part of the hand with a brown paint like this so that you can make it look like the tree. So I am using a paintbrush for this part, but you can use your fingers if you wanted to, totally fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the great thing about this kind of art. We're gonna paint the whole thing, so we're gonna fill the whole thing in. Okay, so now we took all four pieces of paper that we drew, traced our forearm and our hand on, and I went ahead and colored mine in brown. You can do the same if you want, and that way all the brown is done. You don't need brown again for a while. Or you can wait and do one day at a, one piece of paper at a time. Totally up to you. I also put down newspaper since I knew I was going to be getting a little messy, so you might want to make sure you have some newspaper down underneath your stuff so you don't make a mess on your table. So all four branches just waiting to dry. Now over here, we started on using our fingers. We have been making, see, all you're doing is getting your finger wet with the paint and then keep going until you run out of paint or it dries on your finger and go back and do more. So I'm gonna do probably a yellow in there and then maybe a little bit darker green and then that will be my now you have some more options here. You could draw some birds in the sky if you wanted to. You could make this piece blue too if you wanted to. Blue paper might be nice for the whole thing actually. So when you're picking your paper, pick any paper color you want. But this is what summer is beginning to look like. Okay, so the tree we can see now is coming shaping. I put a second color, different color green on it. One more color, let that dry for a minute. Then I'm going to put a little yellow in there, and then my tree and my spring, I'm sorry, my summer page will be done. Alrighty, now we dabbed in a little yellow, and then we dabbed some more green on, and look, it looks like summer. And like I said, now if you wanted to draw sunshine up here or do something else like that, you totally can, or you can just leave it, because when you put all four together, it's going to look really cool. And now I'm working on spring. So spring, unlike summer, is the tree just starting to get its leaves. So we have some greenery and some, some trees get flowers. So I'm gonna let the green dry for a few minutes. And you see how you can see the branches a lot more? That's because in the springtime, plants you are not as thick typically. So you can see some of the branches a little bit more defined than you had before and a lot of green near the edges. So that's why I did it that way. Now we're gonna then add in, like I said, some flowers. Now we have the tree for fall. So the red and green are the leaves falling off after they've changed color, falling to the ground. And then look, you can make a pile of leaves at the bottom. Maybe we're gonna add a little bit of yellow in there and orange and it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, so now you can see there's the winter part of the tree. So you do not have to put a snowman on yours. This is what my helper wanted to do today. So you can do yours any way you want. So she put little black dots on there and a little orange streak. And she made herself a snowman. But these 
all those fingerprint dots for snowflakes. And then you can see all the snow on the ground. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Alrighty, so now you can see our four seasons of the plant. So here's the winter, and then here's the spring with the new growth and some flowers, then the big beautiful green and this little bit of yellow in her for summer and all the fall leaves here. And all together you have one great big tree.